drugs acting on the urinary system so this video is going to concentrate on talking about the drugs acting on the urinary system specifically we are going to be looking at the urinary antiseptics in this video but on the videos to come we'll proceed to look at the diuretics and the sulfonamides okay now the urinary system we know that it's very much important and this system its main function is to get rid of metabolic waste now if the waste is left to accumulate and the body or the urinary system does not remove these wastes what is going to happen is that the toxic levels are going to increase and it will end up harming the body now taking you back to your anatomy one thing that you should know is that the urinary system is comprised of the, the two kidneys of course with these kidneys you're going to find that with each kidney there are millions of individual uh, structures called the nephrons now the nephrons are the ones that do the actual work of the kidneys now after the two kidneys you're going to find two ureters one bladder which is the urinary bladder and one urethra okay now we know that the bladder is a temporal storage of urine and urine of course is excreted through the urethra when it comes to the ureters you're going to find that the ureters they connect to the kidneys or they connect the kidneys to the bladder okay now let's jump into our topic which is the urinary antiseptics the urinary antiseptics now the urinary antiseptics these are drugs that exert antibacterial activities in the urinary system they have little or no systemic uh, antibacterial effect now they have a specific um, effect sorry they have a general effect against most bacteria specifically uh, the gram positive bacteria and the gram negative bacteria now these urinary antiseptics should be used with caution in patients with epilepsy in patients with a uh, renal impairment or hepatic uh, impairment it should be also um, they should be used with caution as well in a uh, patients who are pregnant and mothers who are breastfeeding now let's look at some of the examples of these urinary antiseptics the first example that we can look at are the quinolones specifically the drug nigixic acid so we have under the quinolones we have the ciprofloxacin we also have nigixic acid so let's look at nigixic acid Nidixic acid, it comes as a tablet of 250 milligrams and 500 milligrams. That's its presentation. Now, its main action is to inhibit um, microbial DNA synthesis. And it is indicated in uncomplicated urinary tract infections, especially in patients with uh, Escherichia coli, which is the E. coli. Uh, staphylococcal infections as well as dysentery so nidixic acid is also um, indicated in dysentery the dosage of nidixic acid is one gram six hour for seven days that is if the condition is acute now, if the condition is a chronic one, we just give 500 milligrams six hourly a day. Okay, for seven days as well. Now, for children who are over three months, 
a maximum dose that we can give is 50 milligrams per kg body weight and it should be in divided doses now when we say 50 milligrams per kg what we are saying is if a child has one kg we are giving that child 50 milligrams if a child has 5 kg we'll be giving 250 milligrams to that child so we are giving a 50 milligrams per kg body weight now what happens is we reduce the so the the dosage if the therapy is prolonged so we reduce that dosage by 20 milligrams meaning we're going to be giving 30 milligrams per kg body weight daily